Honourable Nathan Rees, MP, Premier of New South Wales, the Honourable Eric Brusendahl, MLC Treasurer, uh, leaders of the communal organisations, distinguished guests, Australian Maccabea team members, ladies and gentlemen. The countdown's on for the opening ceremony of the 18th Maccabea, where 410 Australian team members will proudly march into Ramat Gan Stadium to represent this great country. It is well known that the Maccabiah are the quadrennial Jewish Olympics, held in Israel the year following the, the Olympic Games. The best Jewish athletes from throughout the world compete in open masters, juniors and disabled competitions. What is not so widely known is that the concept of the Maccabia Games was the brainchild of a 15-year-old Russian-born Yosef Yekutili. The teenager was so energised by news of the 1912 Olympic Games that he conceived the fanciful notion of a worldwide Olympics for Jewish athletes in Palestine. With little encouragement and not a small amount of ridicule, Joseph spent the next 10 years developing details of his unique idea. In 1932, 390 athletes from 18 countries competed in the first Maccabia. This year, 77 years later, is the 18th Maccabia, and I understand there will be some 8,000 athletes from 60 countries competing. The number 18 in Hebrew means life. For each participant, the Maccabia Games are two weeks to experience and a lifetime to remember. For many, the Maccabiah provides significant connection to the State of Israel and for some, Judaism itself. The Games provide the opportunity for us to connect with Jewish contemporaries from the far reaches of the world in the land of Jewish roots and inspires an awakening of Jewish life. As head of the Australian delegation to the Games, I've been flooded with messages of goodwill from the community. Thank you, Mr. Premier, for your hospitality today and your kind words of farewell. We aim to make Australia proud and bring back a bag of gold. I would also like to thank, take this opportunity to thank our sponsors in New South Wales, the Lowy family, Sandra and Barry Smorgan and Investec. Mr. Premier, I'd like to present you with a couple of things to commemorate this evening on behalf of the team. Okay, so the first is a, uh, a plaque, and uh, this plaque reads uh, Maccabi Australia Inc., together with the Australian delegation to the 18th Maccabea, gratefully acknowledges the support of the Government of the State of New South Wales to Australia's participation in the 18th Maccabea Games, July 2009. It's signed by Harry Purcell as the President of Maccabi Australia and myself. So thank you for that. A souvenir of our team handbooks, which will make some interesting reading for you. <laughs> and uh, now this is an interesting uh, book. This is a royal podiatry name. Medical travel, we can, we can cover the whole thing. And this has an inscript inscription which reads, uh, presented to Nathan Rees, Premier of New South Wales, in appreciation for your support the Australian delegation to the 18th Maccabea Games in Israel. It's signed by the Emmanuel Santos, the uh, photographer. There you go, please enjoy that. And uh, again, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tom. And it's, it's, it's always humbling to receive gifts from a, from a community such as yours. I wanted to touch on this in my remarks proper, but I'll touch on it now in saying thank you. And that is that I referred briefly to my trip to Israel about 18 months ago. I think September or October 2007 it was. Uh, the Australia-Israel Chamber of Commerce asked me to lead a delegation there. And I've not been to Israel before. I, I'm assuming most of you have been to Israel before. Is that a fair assumption? Yes. No? Yes? I've got shakes of the head up there and nods down here. Uh, look, it was one of the most extraordinary events of my life to get to Israel, to actually see, uh, see the Golan Heights, see uh, Masada, see uh, the old city of Jerusalem. Absolutely extraordinary. And uh, for those of you who haven't been there before, you're in for a very, very special treat. For those that have been there before, make sure uh, that everyone um, that, that everyone gets to see all those extraordinary sites at an extraordinary location. It's had a profound impact on me. One of the most uh, extraordinary experiences of my life. And uh, I could bore you all with my trip to Masada, I won't. Um, but uh, uh, if you do get the chance to get, get to Masada and you haven't been there before and you're in search of a little bit of extra inspiration before your event, I suggest that's the place to get to. Thank you very much. Yeah.